Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time I want to talk to you about Windows Defender, the protection system built in by Microsoft in every PC that helps you protect from viruses and other online threats. This is a very useful tool, but sometimes it can be annoying, it can consume lots of your computer performance, and you sometimes might just want to stop it either temporarily or permanently. Here is how to do that. So first of all, you need to click on the Windows button, then go to Settings. And here you look for update and security options. You would go to Windows Security and then you will see Virus and Threat Protection. These are the options for uh, Windows Defender. So you need to go under Virus and Threat Protection Settings and click on Manage Settings. You can see here all of the protections uh, which are currently enabled on my computer. Real-time protection, this scans absolutely every file you're using on your computer every time you're using it and this can pose a lot of performance issues so if you just want to disable it temporarily you just need to click this and then you will have it off of course windows doesn't like that he will it will automatically re-enable this either upon restarting your com computer or a few minutes later so it's only for a for a short time that you disable it this is very useful in case uh, Windows identifies wrongly a file as being a virus and you don't like this and you want to execute this, you're absolutely sure this file is safe, then you just click here, you execute your program and then this will automatically re-enable it on. Before we move over and I show you how to completely and permanently disable Windows Defender, let me show you another option which might be sufficient for your needs. Move over down to Exclusions. What this does is that it offers you the option to automatically exclude a file, a folder, a complete file type or a process, meaning an application, from the virus threat identification system. This means that if you always e execute the same file over and over again, instead of coming and every time disabling temporarily Windows Defender or even worse, completely uh, disabling Windows Defender, you simply just Come here, add an exclusion for this specific file, select your file, and that's it. Windows Defender will never check that file again. This might be sufficient for you, and it would still leave Windows Defender running and protecting you from other threats you, you might have. If these options are not sufficient for you, and you just want to completely disable Windows Defender, here is how to do that. Press the Windows button plus the R button together and then start typing reg edit. Click enter and this will open the registry editor. Move over to local machine, expand it, then go over to software, move over to policies, expand this as well, Microsoft again, and then you should find here Windows Defender, okay? When you click on Windows Defender, you might have here disable anti-spyware. If you don't have it, like in my case, you just right click, create new D word file, and then you give it a name. It's disable anti-spyware, as it's written here. Just click on enter. Now we created this key. We need to double click on it, and then you need to set the value of one. Click OK. This is pretty much it. At this point, you just need to reboot your system and real-time protection will be completely and permanently disabled. It will never be re-enabled again. Make sure you install some other antiviruses because this is really not very safe for you to, to go on without an antivirus. So this is it. I hope this was useful for you. And if it was, don't forget to click a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Have fun.